last month, the million dollar money drop became the most talked about new show of the season. We're doing all or nothing. It's okay. The airwaves and the internet were on fire as couples were given one million dollars in cash. This is insane. To keep it, they had to run a gauntlet of seven questions and stop the drop. <laughs> Nerves were shattered. No, no, no. As relationships were put to the ultimate test. Come on, Kyle. In the end, there were tears. And there was triumph. 240000 dollars And tonight. Million dollar money drop is back. exciting and sometimes heartbreaking game. And as thrilled as we are to be back, we're even more thrilled at the prospect that someone will take this $1 million in cold, hard cash home. It's 100% real. The entire studio is surrounded by security to keep it safe. Will we start the new year with a winner? Let's find out. Please welcome Melissa and Frank Cook. to cheer up. Tell us a little about yourselves, please. We're from Boston, Massachusetts. All right. Since we were 17 years old, we've been together. Oh, my goodness. Since you're 17, you're together. Yeah. We've been, so it's 20 years. Yeah. Wow. And we've been married for 13. Yeah. Congratulations. Um, we had a business for 12 years, and we sold it, and now we're back in school. Yeah, back in school. Back in yeah! Somebody, somebody! Yeah! <laughs> I've never seen anyone so excited to be back in school. <laughs> Yeah. Well, congratulations. That million dollars is now yours. Woo! Right, yeah! 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 The question tonight, of course, is whether or not you can hang on to it. In order to do that, you're going to have to give us the correct answer to seven multiple choice questions. Each of these drops represents a possible answer to those questions, but only one is the correct answer. Now, the rules are very simple. You must risk all of your money on every single question. But if you're not certain of the correct answer, you can play it safe. You can place your money on more than one drop, all right? Okay. However, you must always keep one drop clear. You put your money on the wrong answer, and it drops. It's mm -hmm. gone forever, <laughs> all right? <laughs> okay. Now, whatever money you have left over after the seven questions is yours to keep. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! 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 All right, you've got one million dollars. I've got seven questions. Let's play the million dollar money drop. Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's look at the two categories for question number one. Theme parks, eating out. Talk it over. Okay. All right, the category is eating out, and the four possible answers are A, fried chicken and biscuits. B, soup and salad. C, burger and fries. D, fish and chips. All right, once you see the question, you'll be able to talk about it, and then we'll give you 60 seconds to put all your money down. Let's take a look at the question. According to the NPD Group Market Research Company, what is the most popular restaurant meal in the U.S.? Talk it over, and we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Meal. Restaurant, restaurant meal. meal. Restaurant okay, meal. We got Fish it. and chips, burger and fries, fried. soup and salad, fried chicken and biscuits. Okay. It's... All right. So I know people. 60 seconds. The clock has started. Okay, so... Restaurant. Oh meal. my God. So 60 seconds. Restaurant meal. Restaurant I want to say burger and fries. Frank, I think it's burger and fries you do too? too. I do too. Yeah. I do too. I... Everybody what do you eats think burgers. about fish and chips, though? I don't think so. I don't, don't think, think it's fish and chips. Don't I don't like think I, I don't like fish and chips. What about soup and salad? Everybody's fat. People aren't healthy. People are fat. People are fat. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have seen the statistics. 40 seconds. You better hurry up and put Wait, the money on it. Wait, do you want to put anything else on any, anything else, put, Frank? You better put the money on Frank, it quick. Frank, no, but do you want to put anything else? 30, put it on there quick. I'm putting it on, but is there anything else? 
30 seconds. Oh my God, do you want to be safe? I no. like burger and fries. All right. <laughs> you I do. like burger and fries. I know you do. You like burger and fries. 20 seconds. Oh my God, great. No, no, it's not. I'm sure. You don't eat fish and chips? You don't eat salad? And it's, you... I, I like fish, but. All right, so you don't eat. We're all set. We're good. We're good. We're good. over the question again. According to the NPD Group Market Research Company, what is the most popular restaurant meal in the U.S.? It's gotta be, right? No money on A, fried chicken and biscuits. You've got no money there, tell me why. It's a southern thing. A southern thing? Yeah. And soup and salad? You've got no money there, tell me why. For the healthy people. That's, Seems too healthy. Too healthy. Like I got too you. Healthy. Burger and fries, you've got the entire a million dollars. Yeah, we yes. argue it's about Yes, it's all in. Eating yes, too many all burgers. in. And then fish and chips? No money on that drop. It's burger and fries. It's burger and fries. Oh. You've got the entire <laughs> million dollars there. Now, I've got to tell you, during the first six questions, you'll have an opportunity to change your mind after the clock has reached zero. We call this the quick change. When you ask for it, we'll give you an additional 30 seconds to move your money. You get it once in the first six questions. Would you like to use your quick change to make an adjustment? I'm happy with burgers and fries. OK. And then it's time to step up and see what drops. <laughs> If it's A, fried chicken and biscuits. If it's B, soup and salad. If it's D, fish and chips, the game is over. However, if it's C, you've held on to the entire million dollars yeah. on to question two. Come on, million dollars. It's burgers and fries. Excellent. Just so you know, by the way, 9.5 billion burgers and and you've eaten were like sold in the U.S. <laughs> you had a couple of million just yourself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Six questions remaining. All right, let's look at the two categories for question number two. Ooh. Dance crazes Star Wars. Talk about. Oh, Star Wars. Patience you must have. <laughs> All right, four possible answers. They are A, Attack of the Clones. B, Return of the Jedi. C, The Phantom Menace. And D, The Empire Strikes Back. And the question is, which of these Star Wars films premiered in theaters most recently? Talk it over. All right, so I know Empire Strikes Back came out when we were kids. Okay. That was the, the number two. First was Star Wars, I think it was 1973. The third one was Return of the Jedi. 60 seconds, the uh, clock the has started. Phantom Menace, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones. The clock has started. All right, it started. Um, well, why don't we just divvy it up for now so to make a decision? Yeah, why don't we stop? Okay, so Phantom Menace? I don't know which one it was, Melissa. You gotta leave one drop clear. 45 seconds. Do you know? No, I don't know. I think it was, I want to say Attack of the Clones, but I want to say Phantom Menace. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know either. You sure I don't it's not Empire Strikes Back? Seconds. And you're sure it's, it's not, not either of those other two. Split it up, split Six. it up, split right, it up. go ahead. Just the two? Just the two? Split it up. Hurry up. 25 right. seconds. We got it, we got it, we got it. Which of these Star Wars films can you know, the theaters you know most recently? I know it's not, not, it's not either. Five? Split it up. Hurry right. up. 15 seconds. All right, we're good, All right, we're good. So here's half a million down the drain. Oh my god. We're good, we're good. That was hard. Yeah, I don't know which one it was. <laughs> Do you know which one it was? Listen, no, no. Frank, which of these Star Wars films premiered in theaters most recently? You quickly seem to rule out Return of the Jedi and The Empire Strikes Back, and then you uh, split evenly half a million dollars on Attack of the Clones and The Phantom Menace. I have to offer you a quick change opportunity should you decide that you feel strongly about one more than the other. I don't know. I really don't know which one came out last. I have no idea. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with 50-50. We're going to stick with the $500,000 yeah. yes. on each yeah. one. Step up and see what drops. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Question one, into question two. They lost half of their winnings. They worked out the answer. You work together, you're going to school together. Yeah. Tell me about that. We have totally different majors. What's your major? Mine is social justice business. I'm going for my MBA. Nice. Hey, and uh, I'm in school, I'm a history major, and I'm working towards getting my PhD so I can teach at the Woo! university level. And I'll tell you, it's really tough to study with her. I'm loud. She's loud. <laughs> I had no idea that either one of you were capable of being loud until you said that. Oh, really? That. Yeah. <laughs> She's louder than me. It's a boss. <laughs> it's, oh, it's all right. All right, well, yeah. listen, there are five questions remaining. Five questions between you and that half a million dollars going home. All right? Let's take a look at the categories for question number three. They are coins, patriotic song. You know patriotic song. Patriotic songs? You think so? Yeah. We're gonna go with patriotic songs. All right. Patriotic songs is the category. The four possible answers are A, America, my country, tis of thee. B, the star-spangled banner. C, the battle hymn of the Republic. Or D, America the Beautiful. The question is, which song includes the lyrics from sea to shining sea. Talk it over. From V, I sing. <laughs> Isn't it the Star Spangled Man? See. 60 seconds on the clock, it has started. Uh, my sing the song. country tis of thee, sweet land, land of, of liberty. V, I sing. I don't know this. <laughs> 45 seconds, a lot of money to move. Shining sea. I know, what, isn't America it? America the Beautiful. You sure? I'm pretty sure it's America the Beautiful. Really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. I don't, wait. 35 My seconds. Is a bee, sweet land of liberty. Feel free to sing them all out. Oh, shoot, we got 30 seconds. 25 um, seconds. It's not the battle hymn of the Republic, I know that. It's not it's the Star Spangled Banner. You know it's not no, the Star Spangled Banner. No, it's not the Star Spangled Banner. Okay. 20 seconds. You sure? Yeah, we better put some money on it. Oh. You sure? No. <laughs> well, then don't. Running out of time. Wait, you go with your first choice, Frank. We're running out of time. I know. Ten what was seconds. your first choice, though? Oh. Are you sure? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. I'm not sure. The question was, which song includes the lyrics from C to Shining C? Oh, my God. I think it's You've my got 140,000 on America, my country, tis of thee. You've got $360,000 on America, the beautiful. I don't know America, the beautiful. Can you sing that? Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. Perfect <laughs> mountain. <There's> majesty. <laughs> America, America. That is grace on me. Crown thy good with brother. From see the shiny sea, come on! Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Yeah! Yeah! All right. Oh. We've got that quick change opportunity. Yeah, that's yeah, what I, I want to do. You get it. <laughs> you get it once in the first six questions. Mm -hmm. OK. Would you like to use your quick change? I would like to use my quick change. I would like to keep that $140,000. Yeah! Yeah! OK. Yeah! We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. OK. Clock begins now. We don't need to run. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. 25 seconds. <laughs> back to front, back to front. All right. All right. 
stop the clock? Stop the clock. All right. So we stopped the clock. You made a very quick decision here with the quick change. It's all on America the Beautiful. Yeah. The time has come, of course, to step up and see all what right. drops. Well, it's going to stay right here. Fine. All right, see the shining sea. Yeah. Which song includes the lyrics from sea to shining sea? America, if it's America, my country, tis of thee. If it's the Star Spangled Banner, or if it's the Battle Hymn of the Republic, we say good night to Melissa and Frank. No. If, <laughs> if, however, if it's America the Beautiful, they're gonna hold on to that half a million dollars. <laughs> You guys got four questions left, and you've got half a million dollars. Yeah! All right. Wicked off. Wicked off. All right, now it's time to change the game up just a little bit. You may have noticed we've removed one of the drops. There are only three, but the rules remain the same. You must always risk all of your money on every question, and you must always leave one drop clear. Now, the questions are getting a little more difficult, so we're gonna add a little more time to the clock. Instead of 60 seconds, you're gonna have 75. You used your quick change. That's no longer an option. Four questions remaining. Right, Half a million dollars. You're ready? Yeah! Let's go! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's take a look at the categories for question number four. They are US States animated characters. Talk it over. I know both of those pretty well. Animated characters, on, let's go with the States though. Hey. We're gonna go with U.S. States! Yes. U.S. Yes. States. Yes. Of yes. yes. uh, the three possible answers are A, the number three, oh, no. B, uh -huh. the number four, four, or C, the number five. five. And the question is, how many U.S. states begin with the letter A? Okay. Talk it over. Okay. Let's start. Alabama. Yep, one. Arkansas. Two. Alaska. Alaska. 75 okay. seconds, clock has started. Arkansas. Oops, I got that. All right, start okay. again. Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas. Okay. Alabama. 65 seconds. Alaska. Okay, New, New Hampshire. How many U.S. states begin with the letter A? For, um, Virginia, D.C., Washington, um, Maryland. 55 seconds. Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas. Wyoming, California, Arizona. Did we pick that Arizona, one? Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Um, 45 seconds. Oh, wait, okay, so we have more time. Okay, so Arizona. So we've got um, Maryland, Detroit. I think it's four. You think it's four? I think it's four. All you right, gotta hurry up. All right, let me keep thinking. You gotta hurry up. Um, you can do it. Alabama. Think, um, <laughs> what else is there? There's 30 Florida. Seconds. There's um, Georgia. You gotta leave one drop clear. Keep moving your money. Okay. What else? You thinking anything else? Frank, keep thinking. 20 seconds, um, I'm All right, Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona. 15 seconds. Alabama, Arkansas, Alaska. Arizona, Arizona. Four, four, four. Ari there's nothing else? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. You sure? I'm sure. Arizona, Alaska. Alaska? Listen, Frank. Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> You've created an all-or-nothing situation. Uh -oh. You've been bold once again. You've got your half a million dollars on the number Alabama. four. The question again, how many U.S. states begin with the letter A? You counted them through. You've got what? Alabama. Alabama. Alaska. Alaska. Arizona. Arizona. And Arkansas. Arkansas is four. Half a million dollars on the number four. Three. This You've four. got no it's money four. there. It's four. All right, all right, all right. The number five. five. No money on that drop. <sighs> God, help me. <gasps> it is time you... to step up oh. and see what well, drops. I was trying to help. Wait, who's the draw? I love you anyway. <laughs> Will love rule the day. And the
correct answer wouldn't hurt. How many U.S. states begin with the letter A? They counted Three. down four and put half a million dollars on the number four. It's four. Frank is going to will it to the number four. It's four. Good luck, you guys. Four. Four. The good news is, it isn't three. The question is whether or not you miss one. You're in an all or nothing situation. Yep. If you're correct, half a million dollars on to question five. Time to see what dropped. Come on, four. Come on, four. Are you sure? Four, four. Four. Drop, drop, drop. No fives, four. No one dropped. <laughs> oh, come on, four. Take home half a million dollars. I'm always curious. Any sort of preparation uh, before joining us here this evening? Well, Absolutely. I, I, I read somewhere that seafood is brain food, so in the few days I had to prepare for the show, I uh, ate as much seafood as I could. <laughs> I went to this little Chinese restaurant, and you know those fortune cookies you get when you're done? Sure. Yeah. Well, I got one that said, be assertive and you will win. And there it is, right there. Yeah, really yes. I gotta tell you, I never believed in that, but there it is, right there. there it is. <laughs> so it's going right story. back in my pocket. So be assertive, be bold. You've yeah. got half a million dollars. Three questions remain. Let's take a look at the categories for question number five. Oh my God. Let's go. Warehouse shopping, airline travel. Let's go airline travel. Let's go airline travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know airline travel okay. here. Right. I know. We're gonna go airline. Airline yeah, travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airline travel I know is it. the category. The three possible answers are A, the one going to Sydney, Australia, B, the one going to Rome, Italy, or C, the one going to Tokyo, Japan. And the question is Departing from LAX at the same time, going the same speed, which flight would take the least amount of time? Tell us what you're thinking. Okay, so I know that um, Christopher just went to Sydney, Australia, and he left from LA because it was closer to go from the coast. And then if you gotta go to Italy, you gotta go 75 seconds, to the clock east is coast starting. to get over to England, then take another right, plane to Italy. Right. I know that too. And I don't yeah. know about Japan because we didn't go. But that one's like 18 hours, or 18 or 21 hours. He was gone for a whole day and night. Right. And then Italy's like it's five. Clock is moving. 60 seconds. Five left. to six hours just to get to Boston, and then from Boston to Italy is another. I mean, from England's another five. That's like 10. 10, and that's do they 21. Fly, do they fly? directly through LAX. 45 seconds, looking for the least what amount of time. No, but they go direct. Sydney goes right there. So what do you think it is? You've got to move that money around. So what do you think it is? So what do you think it is? Hurry up, hurry up. Um, least amount shoot, of time. It's either, I think it's either Sydney or Tokyo, because. So go half and half. Hurry up, hurry up, serious? hurry up. Yeah, yeah, hurry up, hurry up. You got to leave one drop oh, clear. Hurry up, hurry up. Well, what if, because Italy. Just do it, just do it. 20 seconds. Italy's like 12. I know to Australia is like 21. Just do it, just do it. Hurry up, we're going to run out of time. said the shortest. The least amount of time. All right, you two. You've used the quick change. The question was departing from LAX the same time, going the same speed, which flight would take the least amount of time? The least amount of time. You got 260,000 on Australia, 
Nothing on Rome, Italy, and 240,000 on Tokyo, Japan. Either way, you're about to lose a great deal of money. What are you thinking at this point? Where's your confidence I didn't at? Read the question right. The only thing that I think is going to save us is if you fly directly from LAX to Japan. I think that might be shorter than flying to Rome, Italy. But I, I think Australia is the longest one. Maybe. You play bold when you're certain, and when you're not, you have to move the money around and put it on more than one answer. You've used the quick change, so you know what time it is. Yeah. It's when to lose time. Time to step up and see what <laughs> drop. Oh, my God. If it's A, you're going to take 260000 into the last two questions, and I'm telling you, that's a tremendous amount of money for the last two questions. <laughs> if it's C, you have just under a quarter of a million into the last two questions. B, Rome, Italy is the only one that will end the game for you. Oh, come on. That was wrong. Oh, man. No, I don't know. I really don't know. You don't? I don't know. Are you serious? I didn't think they were going to ask this. Fine. <laughs> oh, come on, just be one of them. Oh, just be one of them. Just be one of them. Just be one of them. I'm having a heart attack. Oh, man! 260,000, it's gone. Sydney, Australia, the furthest. The yeah, furthest of the three the problem, I do. takes the longest. Yeah, we're looking yeah. for the least. You're down to a all or nothing situation. Right. If it's Rome, Italy, it's good night. If it's Tokyo, Japan, it's two hundred and forty thousand with two questions left. Come on, Tokyo. It's time to live with your decision. Let's see what drops. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, Tokyo. Come on, Japan. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Departing from LA. $240,000 at stake. We're going to find out if you're going on to the last two questions or whether you're going home. Come on, Japan. Right after this commercial break here on the Million Dollar Money Drop. Come right back. Question, departing from LAX the same time, going the same speed, which flight would take the least amount of time? They had $260,000 on Sydney, Australia. It's gone. A little less than quarter of a million sits on Tokyo, Japan, nothing on Rome, Italy. Let's go, Japan! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! It's gotta be Japan, it's gotta be Japan. or it's good night. Let's step Japan. up and see what drops. That uh, lucky uh, fortune yes. you had? Maybe we'd bring this out? Yeah, please. I have it. Yeah, they're wave it over. Oh my God. We need a little luck Come here. On, on Japan. Right on the money. There you go. Yeah. There okay. you go. Don't now worry. focus on that. Come on. I'm assertive. Japan. Two Japan. questions will remain if they get this right. 240,000 at stake. Japan. 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 It's an all or nothing situation. Japan. Oh, please. Oh, my God. towards the seventh question. That's the important part. You've got a quarter of a million dollars. A lot of money. That's our degree sitting right there. Yeah. There you go. That's our That's degree. That's PhD and MBA. That's, That's all of it. put my little brother to college. I can put all of us. That's it. That's yeah. it. You've got two more questions to get through. If you get through this, all right, that amount that you take to the seventh question is what you actually have a chance to take home. But, but first, uh -oh. we've got to get through question number six. Okay. 
questions are going to get harder. Because of that, we're going to add even more time on the clock. Great. All right? All right? <laughs> we we're going up to that. 90 seconds. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. Right All right. Now. The right. two Let's categories go. to choose from for question number six, television spending. Three possible answers are A, casino, casino gambling, gambling, B, Ooh. movie, movie tickets, tickets, or C, video games. Video games. And tickets. the question is, which of these do American adults spend the most money on annually? Talk it over. Okay. Okay, we got Spends casino gambling, money. movie tickets, video games. Okay, I know one thing. The average person, the average moviegoer, goes to the movies six times a year. And an average ticket price 90 is 90 seconds on the clock, and it's moving. Video I games are like 50 bucks. Video games, yeah. we're, we're not one of the top countries that buys video games. The UK is number one. Are you sure? Casino gambling, not everybody. Let's read the question gambling. one right. more time. Which of these do American adults spend the most money on? Oh, adults. Annually? OK, so most the American adults. 65 so seconds. video games, adults only buy them for their kids. Right. And they don't even want them to play. Right. And then, OK, casino gambling is huge. Every adult gambles. Yeah, they Pretty do. much. I think it's gambling. The most money on annual. But no, I don't, you don't have to listen to me. They're not 40 seconds. I think, I think it's movie tickets. You do? Yeah. Really? I do, yeah. Let's adult. split it. Let's split it. Quick. You sure? Quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Sure? How are you? We're gonna run Wait, out of time. we have 33 seconds. I'm not so sure. A movie ticket costs 10 to 12 bucks, and the average movie goer goes six times a year. But you know what? You know what? You might be right because it's, it's a billion dollar industry. The movies are a million. Billions. 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 I think it's movies. All right, I'm gonna go. I think with it's what you movies. Said. I'm gonna go. I with think it's said. movies. All right, 15 you sure? seconds. You sure? You sure? You gotta get to question Does seven. Does everybody gamble? Is it adult? No, maybe you should. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's movies. All right, then go with movies. Time's up. Question number six are getting a lot harder. Ugh. There's no obvious answer or you so You wouldn't it even seems. believe how hard it is. Yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> I feel it. We all feel it with you. Which of these do American adults spend the most money on annually? A, casino gambling. So you've got $60,000. What are you thinking? Well, I think people blow a lot of money at the casino. I've seen right? it. Right? So you've got... 180,000 on a movie not video games. And then see video games yeah. where you have no money. Video games, either of you play? No, well, I don't, I don't think it's educational. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... But I mean, people do buy them for their kids, and they're like $50 now. It sounded like you ruled them out when you pointed out that it says American adults, adults spend yeah, the most adults. money on. So I'm, I'm reading the question now. Yeah. Most kids spend, if they, if they buy the games, they buy them themselves, from what I know. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. All that matters is that you get to we question seven. You have to stay in the game. You have to stay in it. $60,000, if it's casino gambling, you take $60,000 to the final question and a chance to take it home. If it's movie tickets, your strongest choice, you take $180,000 really into the yeah. final I'm question. Happy with yeah. that. The only way you go home is if it's C, video game. We're not going home, Kevin. Not going home. We're not going home. Let's not step home. up and see what's wrong. It's movies. It's movies. All right. Let's go. All right. Good luck to you both. One more time. One more time. Okay. Yeah. On the movie tickets yeah. with the big money, 180,000. Be assertive, be bold. Come on, movies. All right, movies, focus. Movies, 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 Melissa and Frank started with a million. This is where we stand. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Okay. I love you. Love you too. I'm scared. I'm scared too. Oh my God. Uh, I hope I'm wrong about the gambling. Either way, okay. either this way, good. it's good. It's a Go good, it's away, a good play. video games. They're bad for video you. Video drop. Drop. Sixty thousand on casino gambling. That's, That's what you take to the seventh question if you're right. And video games, no money on that drop. 
It's an all or nothing situation oh, God, for deal. Melissa and Frank. Yeah. As devastating as that was, how huge $60,000 is. Right. Now the time has come to step up oh. and see what drops. Come on, give us the 60000 Come on. Give us one more shot. Get focused. Get focused. One more shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. If it's casino gambling, come on. Come on. You got there. Come on. Come on, gambling. Come on. They started with a million dollars. They made it to question seven. The final question was $60,000. That's what they have an opportunity to take home. You now see how hard it is to get to the seventh question. You've beaten the odds. You've made it to the final question. You now have a chance to take money home. All right? All right. All right, let's do it, let's do it. We're going to change the game up one last time. Because you've made it all the way to the final question, we're taking away the clock. Uh, There'll be yeah. no time Oof. pressure. Awesome. We'll also, as you can see, we removed one of the drops. We're down to two. But you still have to risk all your money, and you still have to leave one drop clear. That means, of course, you have an all or nothing situation to take home $60,000. All right, okay. how you feeling? Sick. Sick? Sick. Happy. Sick and happy. I'm happy. That's a fantastic yes. combination. Oh, All right, sick and happy. $60,000. Final question. Two categories are fast food, the Beatles. Yeah. I don't know the Beatles that good. I say go fast food. Fast food? Yeah. We're going to take fast food. Fast food. All right. There are two possible answers. A, filet o fish B, egg McMuffin. Oh. And the question is, which McDonald's menu item debuted first? Talk it over. OK. OK. All right, so filet o fish egg McMuffin. OK. OK. I know when McDonald's started out, they had burgers. Yep. OK? Yeah. I know about the Egg McMuffin. The guy, uh, Ray Kroc, yeah. invented the Egg McMuffin. He wanted to do like a, what is that, the Eggs Benedict kind of thing. Okay. So he put cheese and ham and egg and English muffin. Okay. All right. What do you think about the filet of fish? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Which item debuted first? So you know Egg McMuffin, but you don't I know, know about when. the Egg McMuffin, and I know it was pretty early in. I, I would Did they always have breakfast, though? I think the filet of fish came later. You do? If I had to guess, I would say the Well, they're a burger coffee. joint, so why would they go for fish anyway? Maybe they go for breakfast. It's just a guess. What do you think? Which came first? Okay. You ready to move some money? Yes. yes. 60000 OK. Put it on your answer. Egg all or nothing. Muffin. It's all or nothing. Ray Kroc. Let's go, Ray Kroc! <laughs> You've placed all of your money on Egg McMuffin. Correct. Nothing on filet of fish Now that you've made your decision, I'm going to give you one final fact regarding this question. Please understand, this fact is not meant to change your mind. It will simply give you the opportunity to do so if you choose. I'm going to give you the fact, and then we're going to give you 60 seconds to talk it over. Now, you get to choose which of these two items you want a fact about? Let's get a fact on the filet of fish. Okay. We're gonna go for a fact on the filet of fish where there is no money. And that fact is the filet of fish debuted in 1962. We're gonna give you 60 seconds. You can leave the money where it is, 
or not. That choice is still yours. The clock is about to start. I think you came up with the egg McMuffin first. All right. What do you think? I think that the breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and that McDonald's would capitalize on that because they're a bazillion dollar industry. They were like number one in fast food. So after hamburgers, they made McMuffins. I think so too. Right? I'm staying with the egg McMuffin. Okay. Egg McMuffin. Stay with egg the egg McMuffin. McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Right, don't stand there. Egg McMuffin. <laughs> you want us to stop the clock? Stop the clock. All right. You're stopping the clock. We're taking it away. All right. You stop the clock. Together, you came to an important conclusion. Which McDonald's menu item debuted first? You've placed all of your money, 60000 on Egg McMuffin. Correct. Now it's time to find out if you can stop the drop. Step up. Let's go. And let's see what drop. Let's go. Good luck. Melissa and Frank. I love you. Can they take home $60,000 to help with their education? Okay. All right, Melissa and Frank played like champions. Let's hear it for them. The Egg McMuffin didn't come along until the early 70s. My bad. I'm sorry. Melissa and Frank played fantastically. They made it to the seventh question. We love them. They couldn't stop the drop. Come back next time to see if someone can stop the drop here on the Million Dollar Money Drop.